Later in the show, we're going to calculate those votes, and we're going to have an answer. Go. Yes. Today, we have a very special guest. Is it Richard Harris, by any chance? No, is but it, tell it, us? it's funny that you say that, because it is somebody that's come... Because he played that guy in those movies about uh, Gary Shandling, right? The, no. The boy wizard, Gary no, Shandling, no, and the no, sorcerer's no, bone and no, all that? No, 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 no. But today, in just a moment, I'm going to introduce the man who you've probably heard of, one of the most famous residents of Weymouth. Because I suppose bringing notoriety to our South Shore town is a motif in this episode. Joe's got Dottaville, but there's also a man by the name of Johnny Gonzalez that's going to be coming out here in just a minute. You've probably heard of Johnny Gonzalez in the past. Because even though... He's one of those faces that, you know... You've seen him. You yeah, don't you've, know, seen you've seen him. him you may not something. know the name, but you've, you know you've, you've seen, seen him in something. Because he's been in a lot of is stuff. He's a Hollywood yeah. insider from the South Shore. So yeah. with no further ado... May I introduce a guest that is sure to spike our already astronomical ratings? Not that we care about that type of thing. But I would like to introduce for you Johnny Gonzalez. We have a little graphic. Yeah. Can we have Mr. Gonzalez out here? Here Johnny. we go. Here's, here's Johnny. You know, you get it. It's like. Always a pleasure, yeah. gentlemen. Here's, here's Johnny. Johnny. Be on Weymouth yeah. After Dark. I heard that you would have been here sooner, but you got caught in the lobby signing autographs. Is that yeah, true? I got a little busy out there, and then uh, they held me up in wardrobe for a little bit. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. In the green you know, room? You know how that goes. Yeah. Yeah, don't, well, don't yeah. even talk about the food out in the green People room. People just yeah. like to hear my stories. I mean, I got a lot to tell. Johnny Gonzalez. You know, um, tell us a little bit about what it's like to be, I mean, uh, some kind of yeah, Hollywood the rat insider. race. What's it like in the rat race of tinsel? Well, time? I wasn't in that movie, actually. That, um, rat race? Yeah, with Rowan um, Atkinson. I wasn't in that. Um, okay. One of the few ones I wasn't in. Uh, you, know, I, you know, I'll go through, you know, some of the times that I've had. Um, you know, I, I try to split my time between Hollywood, New York, and, of course, Weymouth. Yeah. Sure, like a triangle. Um, yeah, pretty much so. Uh, I've spent time with great actors such as, uh, you know, Chris Walken. You see, I was in Suicide Kings. You know, look, you look close up on that? Right there. Uh, you, you, you can see me right on the top left. Is that you uh, second top, to the top, left? Top right. Christopher there. Walken's a good dancer, you know. Um, this actually, uh, I, I have a picture with Chris Walken. And uh, speaking yeah. of dancing, it's funny, on the set of Suicide Kings, I, I, I went into his uh, dressing room, and he was in there with Jay Moore, and they had the, the, the sticky white New England confectionery treat on the floor. Uh, you all know it as fluff. And yeah. Walken was dancing on it. He likes to do it for practice. He feels like the stickiness helps him with his balance. Something funny. Yeah. He was going into a story. You know him. Yeah, yeah. You, know, you know, you learn from the masters like actually, that. It's actually, like they uh, never run out of stories. Yeah. You know? Right, right, exactly. Yeah. Guys well, like that, they're always on stage. You know? What other movies have you seen you in? Um, well, first movie I did, uh, I was a baby James Bond uh-huh. in Casino Royale. If you, uh, if you want to take a look, got my credit right there. Made sure I got that in there. Very young. Uh, hold it up just a little bit. I don't think I can. Yeah. There you go. It was Very actually good. a scene. Yeah. Johnny Gonzalez. Yeah. yeah. Peter Sellers trips Woody Allen while I'm in his arms, and I go flying onto the craps table. Uh, and they cool. call it a seven. Uh, there you go. <laughs> From the start. That's you. From the that was start. me. And they call it a That seven. was me, actually. This, so is, my, this is my picture with Woody right here. From the start, rolling sevens. Yeah, the, the old Casino Royale. Uh, what was it like hanging out with Woody? Woody is uh, he's a very reserved fellow. Yeah? To say, you know, kind of quiet about his private life. I think he's been a little intruded on. I yeah. don't really want to go into it. I like mm. my relationship with him. Do you feel like you've been intruded on a little bit in your private life? Mm. Um, I try to keep it quiet. Yeah. I try to keep it quiet, but I always have people bothering me. Those? It happens. It happens. I'm a fast fellow, though. They call yeah. me speedy. Yeah. I can get away from the crowds. Fair enough. If I need to. The paparazzi. Um, one of the other films that I was in, in the, in the 80s, uh, Bachelor Party, I don't know if you remember, with Tom Hanks and Adrian's Med. I, I, yeah. I, I actually roomed... Is that you? That, up that, right that's above me right toilet. here. That's yeah. It's funny because right, right below Adrian's Med. Yeah, it's funny because Adrian's Med went on to so much, but you really never heard from Tom Hanks again after that. Yeah, it wasn't much. I actually roomed with Adrian's Med uh, from '81 to like '84. I tried to get him to not do that Grease Two film. So you had a. L- I knew it was garbage. Mm. Uh huh. But uh, didn't stop Michelle Pfeiffer though. No, it didn't. Uh, funny story about Bachelor Party. Um, I don't know if you all remember the donkey. We brought it back to the. To the, to the house after. Uh, had quite a great time. Needless to say, the donkey slept in Adrian's room. Johnny, that movie was released quite a while ago. 
And I'm beginning to question how you could have been the age in that picture in in. Well, I was I I was an infant in Casino Royale. Uh huh. So the I mean the time timeline's correct. I'm sure. What else do you have yeah, there for us? Well, well, you know what it is. I don't know if they have work done. I don't want to, you know, cave in. I don't know if you guys have work done, but all those people in the movies I look younger. I got to give no comment on that one. Yeah. Um, the ne- next thing I got is I was I was on the uh, setup episode one of Star Wars, George Lucas, uh-huh. and uh, you know I, I I was sitting there talking to him about characters, and I was saying, you know, you need someone like like Chewbacca, but almost with the essence of Chevy Chase and Steve Martin. And I really didn't want to go beyond that because I didn't want to take, a, take away from his creativity. Unfortunately, we got Jar Jar Binks. So you, in a way, created Jar Jar Binks. I don't like to say I'm responsible for it, but I feel but slightly responsible. But at night, it keeps you up a little bit, responsible. It? it? keeps you up a little bit. Sometimes. Unfortunately. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah, be careful what you yeah. say around George. Well, it's tough. I mean, he takes on everything. He's a, he's a brilliant man. Yeah. Mm. It's his vision. The, uh, one of the other movies I did in, in 1990 was... Uh, Cat- Cadillac Man with Robin Williams. Uh huh. If you can there see, there you are over in, in, in the right. Yeah, right over here, holding the holding the uh, machine gun. Uh-huh. And I was, uh, I mean, that was one of the roles you, that. You that were you forty-seven. Were you Academy Award on that one. I'm sorry. Were you nominated for Academy Award on? Unfortunately, your I lost out on that one. Yeah. I didn't even show up to the show. I, I could care less uh, about like Woody. those awards. Like Woody in the Means old days. Nothing to me. Yeah. But uh, you know, another funny story. Robin Williams and Cadillac Man really tried to sink into that role. Yeah. Really? And, and it got him back into his drinking days. Unfortunately, I mean, I got a picture here of the rap party for Cadillac Man. And, uh, I mean, you can see he's kind of in a little tough shape. He was really, there, like, literally upset that he had to sell 12 cars in two days. <laughs> it got to him. He really took it on. It got to like him. It was, like it was a real life He was role. a nervous wreck. He was. It's, yeah. You could see it in his hair. Uh, yeah. Some people yeah. prepare for a role, like, they really get, the, I don't know if it's method or whatever, but they really get themselves into it. Yeah, right, exactly. And, uh, you know, one of the more recent films uh, I was on was uh, Paycheck with uh-huh. Ben Affleck, like you see here. And uh, I, I, was, I was on the set um, with Ben a lot. I remember seeing him on the phone just constantly with Jennifer Lopez. Uh-huh. And I sat him down, and, I, and you know, he said that he's worried, worried about losing her, even overprotective. So I sat him down and said... You know, Ben, you see it all around you. Good love and gone bad. Usually it's too late when you realize what you had. You know. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. I found out. You quoted the lyrics to a 30-year special song to him, yes. Oh, is that what it is? I think it is, yeah. yeah. That, that it was it the rang guy true in my mind. Yeah. That uh-huh. was the brother of the But I didn't know where it came it. up from. Yeah. 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 It was like a vision, kind of. Almost so. Uh, another movie I did, I, and I'm only bringing this along... You won't see me in the credits for it mm-hmm. because I asked them to take my name out. But I was in Caddyshack 2 with Jackie Mason. Mm. And you actually asked them to take your I, name out of there? I the asked them yeah. to take my name out of there. Can you blame them? There was one funny part in the movie, if, if you could call it that. Uh, I'd like to say that it could have done better with, without basically the whole cast. Well, yeah. I, I, I could have held that picture up myself. Do, do, you, do, you, do you remember seeing Johnny Gonzalez in any movies? Because I'm drawing a blank on this. And I've seen my share of movies, you know, late um, night television and that kind of thing. I think, actually, you know, this isn't obscure, but weren't you in Prayer of the Roller Boys? No, that wasn't me. Uh, okay. It looked a lot like me, I'm sure. There um, was a while when you had the Just look, one of the guys. Yeah. But were you in that one? I was. I was. But it was, just, it was just a brief walk-on extra role. You won't see me in the credits. I mean, if you look, I, my name's up here. Yes. And my, my face is in the picture. I'm actually going to, just for you guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sign this, sign this copy. Okay. Uh, okay, like that. To, to Weymouth After Dark? To Weymouth After yeah. Dark, sure. Yeah. Frank and Joe, love you guys, don't ever change. You get all that down? Johnny love you G. guys, don't ever change. Yeah. Don't change. Don't change. I oh, usually only do this for the ladies, too. but I put a heart on that. Oh, so I, I, I just like Just so you can it. hang it up. That's how it's platonic, it. too, in its own way. There you have it. Johnny Gonzalez, tell us just a little bit, very briefly, how you reconcile the life in the fast lane and your life in the slow lanes of 93 South coming, you know, coming and going from Weymouth. 
Well, I mean, of course, I always try to avoid Route 3. Yeah, who doesn't? I mean, that can be worse than I-5 some days. <laughs> I yeah. suppose. I'm, not, I'm, I'm, no, I'm no 128 fan, too, let me tell you that much. And they're always doing construction on there at night. So if you try to go to, like, the Norwood Building 19, it takes you forever to get back. Johnny, uh, as I recall, Mr. Gonzalez, you, you actually said that you were going to treat us today to uh, a performance of some sort. You were going to maybe... Uh, Read us a, a, a scene or show off a little bit of your acting ability here on this format on Women's After Dark. Well, actually, I, uh, I know that being a big fan of the show, as any sensible person would be, Yosephus, who does a great rendition of uh, Peter Fox. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's true. I'd like to do mm. a little, um, j- j- little j- acting. One last question. Scene. Uh, yeah. A little clinic here right yeah, now. Scene right study. here on Women's After Dark. I get to do a scene study with Johnny Gonzalez. I, I'm, right. I'm for that, Hold man. On. All right. Okay. Let's, let's get, let's get, let's get, this let's get the wife. Yeah, I'll let's let me. You on both of these now. Okay, because I'm going to see those of you who are interested in acting. I'm going to put my glass eye here. in so we can uh, get the wide shot on this so we can get. Uh, you are going to see something here. Uh, scene study. Actually, do you want me to strike this or <laughs> keep it? Should I strike it? We're going to get. Joe okay. and Johnny Gonzalez giving you a scene study okay, here, here we go. that here we will go. really uh, exemplify okay. what acting all right. is hey. the way it should be. All right, all right, all right. Okay, here. <coughs> right, let's, get, let's get a little, little shot of this. Okay, you know, sure. Uh, I, I've seen you in the movies, and, and my, my wife loves you. She, she's your biggest fan. But there's just one last thing that bothered me, sir. How was the man able to get from the car to the police station with a bullet in his leg. He drove. That, that's really interesting, sir, because I've got a witness who says he saw the man getting shot by a guy with dark sunglasses before he could reach the car. And you moved the body, sir. That was just the one thing that bothered well, I believe you're wrong. And there you have it. See, folks. See, I, yeah. I, mean, I, I could I kind of adapt that myself was, to uh, any sort that of was, role. Was magic. Magic. I was moved. You know, and you know, I'll tell you what, it helped me too, because, you know, when you play, it's like tennis. You know, 